Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters, and today we're going to be doing a little different type of video. Over the last couple of months I've had a lot of requests to uh, how I actually make my videos. So as a little change up, I'm going to show you the ins and outs, what kind of equipment I use, what kind of editing software, all the little ins and outs to make a good uh, successful YouTube channel. So let's get started on it. with basically very little investment how to make quality videos right from the beginning. The first thing you're going to need is an area that has a lot of light to it because the more light you have on it the better the camera is going to pick it up. I record, I have a, a front window right over here that I get a lot of natural light in plus I have all of my my fluorescent lights and it also helps to have a white table too because it has a lot of re reflection of the light that comes back. My camera of choice, I used to have a regular video camera when I first started doing the videos for the first month or two and after that I switched over to my iPhone 6 did actually a better job than the regular video camera uh, most people have cell phones so if you have like any of the galaxies this uh, iPhones, any of those will do really well on it the other thing you're going to need is a tripod and this has, I have this special adapter, I bought this for like ten bucks it's got a spring loaded piece here that will literally just plug your iPhone right in and you can do all the adjustments and stuff on it so you can get in nice little tight shots and of course by how close you want to get to the, uh, the product itself. Okay, now that we have the equipment, a place to film, I want to talk to you about setting up a pre-production plan. Uh, one thing I will highly recommend for you guys, especially as you're starting out, is to come up with a pre-production plan. Now, I just kind of briefly wrote down on this. Uh, this will be like a mental checklist for you so as you start filming that you do not leave out any important filming parts that you forget to later and that will could be impossible to film later on because you have already moved on past that. Also, I also want to talk to you about is starting off with, with a script. Uh, in the very beginning, uh, I used to actually write out what I was going to say, post it underneath the camera, so I kind of read it as I went along so I wouldn't miss any points. But as you get more and more comfortable talking in front of the camera, the script will gradually go away. And a few may notice I don't use a script anymore because I do mess up every once in a while, but they're minor little things. And the next thing I want to talk to you about is your setup. Now I struggle all the time trying to get the camera to get great angles on it and because a lot of times when you're working with small little detail parts my hand does pop in front of the way. So that's one thing you want to be cognizant of going forward is really try to keep it a nice open view for the person that's watching the video with you. Sometimes you'll even notice too I'll just say the part was so tiny and that it required me to get in close that I didn't even bother filming it and I just explained to you what I did rather than just seeing the back of my hand the entire time on it. Okay, now I'm going to show you my little editing uh, area here on my computer. Okay, uh, now once we've downloaded the videos on here and I, what I like to do is I create a separate file for them and I usually record about 70 to 80 clips, video clips, to do a, the final video. Uh, I've uploaded them all onto the screen here from, from my iPhone and like I said I put them in a separate folder. Now I personally use Adobe Premiere Pro as my editing software and there are quite a few other editing softwares on the market. Some of them are even free. And I'll open up Adobe Premiere Pro here. So now that we've got the, uh, the program opened up right here what you do is you'll, you'll download your videos and all your, your video clips will appear in this corner over here. And it's as easy as just grabbing them and dropping them into place. And the beauty of the Premiere Pro is that you have a really a lot of flexibility on removing sound, uh, re-recording sound. The green down here on the bottom is all the audio for music. The darker blue is my, my speaking audio and then the lighter blue is my actual video itself. And then the pink I'll slide one of them over here. The, and the little pink up on top here are the title cards that I'll put in here to, to talk about a little bit something in depth that I didn't happen to speak about when I was recording the film. Okay, now I'm going to talk to you about the background film music as well as sound effects. Now I'm going to assume that you guys have a YouTube account because you need one to actually do any of this stuff. So once you get up in there, you'll go up to your regular... Uh, port right here and you hit creator studio and the creator studio will bring up this screen 
which is all your analytics, your views, your subscribers, all that stuff. And then right over in here, there's a little thing called Create. You want to click on Create, and it's going to bring you over to the free music library, as well as the sound effects library. Uh, the free music library is where I get all my music because it's already been vetted by YouTube as to not have any copyright issues, which, you know, in the past I've had a few issues with some of that stuff. So what you want to do is you'll just pick a song, and we're just going to grab one at random right here, click on it, it'll tell you what kind of music it is, and then you just have to download it. And that's just the little download button right over here. It'll put it on a little screen. My advice to you is I created a folder actually on my desktop that I throw all the music that I reuse over and over again. Okay, after you get all your video edited and you've got your music in place and you're pretty happy with the way everything's going on it, uh, you're going to want to export it. Now, when I record all my videos, I record them in 1080p. Uh, that's the highest that the iPhone will do. Although the new iPhones that will be coming out, I hear, will be 4K. So I'll probably be recording a few of the videos in the future in 4K as well. And you're just going to export them out. And what the exporting will do is that is going to condense the file and make it into something that YouTube can read. And one thing when I'm telling you, when you are going to export it, make sure you can find it where it's going to export it to. I like to create a folder that is just for uh, YouTube videos that it's always going to export to that folder. That way you can find it very easily. Okay, now that you have your video edited and exported and you're really happy with the way it looks, it's super simple to upload it to YouTube. Let me show you how. Okay, and it's as simple as just clicking upload up in the corner up here, little right next to your uh, notification. Now what I'll do is I'll shrink this to half screen size and then I will grab my video that is now up on the counter on the desktop here and just drop it right in and your video is uploading right now. Now there's a few other things I want to talk to you about your title immediately comes up and you want to pick a title that's not too long but really describes what you're looking for because between tags and the title are two things that YouTube uses to show people and to find your video and that's the biggest and hardest part about putting videos up on YouTube is being found especially if there's a lot of other items going on in that same genre one other thing I'll point out to you for your thumbnail YouTube will give you they'll randomly grab photos out of your video. What I like to do though is I actually will take a dedicated photo of usually like the box art and the model all in one and then you can upload it yourself and make that your thumbnail for your video. So it makes the video a little nicer rather than just sometimes random photos that YouTube will come up with. Okay the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is getting the word out once you've made the video. There are plenty of groups on Facebook and on Google Plus that deal strictly with modeling and go on there, join the groups, and put your videos up there and see what they have to say. Get some constructive criticism back on it. To wrap things up, making YouTube videos can be a fun and rewarding endeavor. But you need to have passion for the subject that will translate to your audience. If you're having fun, the audience will see you're having fun and they'll enjoy it more. So I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at making YouTube videos. I appreciate you watching and please stay tuned because we have more videos coming.